Entropy. Do you ever ask yourself, why is everything always such a mess? No matter how often I clean up, it always seems to revert back to a giant mess. Why is that? This has to do with the second law of thermodynamics, which states the total entropy of an isolated system will always increase over time. Entropy, also known as the chaos theory, is what causes everything to get messy. First thing to understand is entropy itself. Try to imagine a book with 1000 pages. Cut all the pages loose, now stack them again in order back in the book, then throw the book up in the air. The result should be a mess. This is because simple probability has done its work. There are several million different ways the pages could land chaotically, yet there is only one way they could fall in order. Therefore chaos was far more likely to happen than order to remain. This phenomenon is what we call entropy. In short, because chaos is statistically more likely to evolve from order than it's likely for order to remain, it's natural for chaos to increase without energy input. But in order to decrease the entropy of a system, you will need to put in energy. Compare this to you manually putting all the pages back in order in the book. In physics, we have different types of systems. A closed system is a system where there's no transfer of mass, yet the exchange of energy with the surroundings is possible. In an open system, there's transfer of both mass and energy with the surroundings. In the case of increasing entropy, we speak about an isolated system, meaning the system does not exchange mass nor energy with its surroundings. In nature, a perfectly isolated system doesn't exist, as there will always be some form of energy transfer. Your cup of tea, for example, is an open system. It radiates energy in the form of heat and loses mass through evaporation. The Earth is an open system as well. It regularly exchanges both mass and energy with its surroundings. The solar system is a closed system. If you want to be truthful, the solar system has to be considered an open system as well, because it does exchange mass in form of asteroids, as was recently confirmed. Even entire galaxies are closed systems and exchange energy with their surroundings. Except the universe itself. The universe is an isolated system. The universe does not exchange mass with its surroundings, neither does it exchange energy. This means that over time, billions and billions of years, slowly but steadily, the entropy of the universe will increase. If you look back over time, you can see everything has become increasingly messy. The universe expanded from a singularity into this beautiful chaos. The map of the globe went from this to this in only a century. And let's not even start talking about what happened here. Oh. So yes, entropy is a very slow and effective mess maker. In the end, our universe will become even more chaotic than it currently is. The density of the universe will keep decreasing due to cosmic inflation. As a result, the cosmic background temperature will keep dropping. The stars will eventually die, taking their planets with them. In about 100 trillion years, the universe will have expanded so far that its density has become so low, no new stars will be allowed to be born. In two undecillion years, Protons, the core particles of atoms, will start to decay, leaving black holes the only stable clumps of matter left. The universe then won't have enough material left to feed these black holes. So slowly, over time, these two will evaporate. When the final black hole evaporates, the universe will enter its dark era. The dark era of the universe will be dominated by the concept of maximum entropy. This is the point where further increase of a system's entropy is no longer possible and ultimate chaos dominates. The universe at this point will be so entropic no recognizable form of matter can exist anymore. At this point everything, every star, every organism, every piece of data will have withered away. Every few light years or so a loose particle, a quark or perhaps a lepton can be found. The cosmic microwave background will have cooled to zero degrees Kelvin. The universe will have become quite cold, dark, empty and boring. Maximum entropy is the endpoint for any system. Unless new energy is put in from the outside, the entropy will be forever lasting. 